In this episode, I'm going to show you some of the features I use in GraphQL Playground that really makes me more productive, makes me fa faster to develop. And also, if I want to run some common queries, I can very, very quickly. So GraphQL Playground supports a lot of settings. You can even customize how it looks if you wish. But the, the settings I like to focus on are the tabs. So here we can actually preload queries in and we can set the, the headers. So this could be, for example, some dummy auth header if you're starting locally, also with the variables. So let's go ahead and let's actually, actually do this. So if we come into resources, what I want to do is create a directory called playground. And what I want to do now is add some properties. So in the playground, so there should be headers. So graphically I'll playground headers. I want to add say an authorization header. I can say authorization. And then here I could put some, some kind of token or some author. Is there, maybe your application needs certain headers. That's cool. And then what I can do is add some, some tabs in. So here I've got some ready. I've got a name, a query and variables. So here I have the name of the tab and say it's a bank account sample query. And the query is going to be loaded from playground bank account.graphql. So I can go ahead and create that file. And also the variables are going to be passed in through the bank account variables file. And what I want to do is now create a bank account sample query. So I have, of course, got this ready instead of me showing you. But basically what I've done is create a query, give it a name. And here it accepts in a variable. So a variable of type ID, and it's called ID. And then we pass this variable into the bank account query. Now, we have to supply the variables. So I also have to create a variable file. And here it's the key value pairs, or it's a JSON object of the different variables. And here I'm passing the ID, and this will get loaded up. So if I go ahead and run the application, if everything works fine, then I go to Playground and load that. Then you should see that I have automatically loaded my bank account sample query in the first tab. I'm, I have the ID, the ID gets passed into the bank account query, and I make the request. Now in the HTTP headers, authorization is here, and this is automatically going to be submitted to the server. I also have the, the query variable ID ready, so this will be substituted into the query. And as you can see, this is the query um, being, this is the response being returned from the server that we have here running. Now, with GraphQL, uh, sorry, with GraphQL Playground, you don't really want to enable that in production. This is really for demo environments. And um, again, it's up to you how tight you want to do security, but of course, you can come ahead and turn that off. So you can say enabled is false. You can save that and let's run the server and GraphQL Playground is not going to be enabled. So if I go back and I refresh, then it does not exist. So in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you Voyager and how you can visualize your schema.